and this is this is about transparency. This is a big decision, um, and and we are all in a place where we have to really trust this process. And um, but part of that is, like I said earlier, it's communication, and that two way communication. So that was this is our you know that was my in my role. It's my attempt to bring back forth you know what I've what I've been hearing, what I've been asked, and there's some things that for obvious reasons that was stated today that you know the de those details haven't been ironed out yet and i would ask that like i i'm gonna say this again i just as the data comes available and as they work out kind of what when whenever when we're receiving the data that we do look at it very conservatively um there again with covid you know every time i think i open like anything, like the, watch the TV, open social media, you know, there's a new angle to it. There's, you know, and I think everybody's watching it and everybody has a different eye on on, on how it's progressing. Um, and and also how what our neighboring districts are doing. I mean, that matters too. There's a lot of comparisons between what, you know, Wyzetta or Anoka, um, you know, and uh, Robbinsdale are all doing and they're all kind of in those decision-making processes now. And the, the, the last piece is that, um, okay, two more pieces. One is, you know, along these lines of engagement, you know, just keeping a really strong pulse on um, the equity piece in our, in our district that I know we're so committed to and focused on, and we just passed a resolution addressing um, some of those, those issues. And so um, that's going to be another, you know, you know, challenge. I mean, you look at, when I look at the, the model before us, I mean, there's, Obviously, there's pros and cons, right? And and it impacts people in different ways. And I just think, and I, I believe that you've addressed, um, acknowledged that that that's something that we'll be looking at. Um, the other piece is, and this is kind of to uh, Director Mesquita Jones. Um, you know, I would really love to see some type of a town hall. Um, and I know that there's some restrictions in that, but whether it's virtual or what. But I mean, I, I think that. Um, I think there needs to be an opportunity for our community to ask some questions, and I think that there's other school districts. There's, you know, precedent to that that they've they've had some, whether it's Facebook Lives or you know whatever it is. But I, I do think we need an ability to have more of a you know a, a bigger community um, dialogue um, around this. And then, you know, lastly, I would say to our community that are watching, I know that I've seen you know some rumblings just around you know um, you know how we're making this decision and we're all virtual, you know, and so. I, am, I do believe that in our August meeting, um, a regular scheduled board meeting, we are in person again. And so I just hear you loud and clear. Um, um, we value every single you know, staff in our district, family and student, and so um, would never want anybody to be in a situation that we wouldn't ourselves be in. And so I um, just want to acknowledge that and, and just thank everyone. Um, everybody has been so, um, great about asking questions and being really open and honest and candid and you know what that shows me is that our district we have really high expectations you know and I know we're going to meet those expectations and so um, so yeah just thank you for all of this information and and being patient and taking the time to answer these questions that we have and we know that with one question there's probably like 10 more questions you know but um, but I, I appreciate that so thank you. Mike, you're muted. Okay, well, again, thank you everybody um, uh, for the questions, for the comments, for the information, for the planning, uh, for all of the planning that's gone into this and all the planning that's gonna happen over the next five to six weeks. So uh, I wanna say thank you for all of that. Uh, with that, uh, we will now act on the motion to uh, accept the superintendent's proposal to uh, plan to open in, uh, in a hybrid model uh, for the fall. Uh, a roll call vote will now be taken by the board secretary. Uh, Sherry? Aye. Director Mosqueda Jones? I'm sorry, Jackie, I didn't Families, hear. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Sherry, I'm having a tough, oh. I'm having a tough moment. Okay. Um, 
families, you need to choose what's right for your family. I want to say that. Aye. Director Douglas? Aye. Director Dawson Walton? Aye. Director Simons? Aye. The motion passes on a vote of five to zero. Thank you very much. Uh, before we adjourn, uh, Superintendent McIntyre, do you have any uh, closing comments or anything you'd like to say? Um, yeah, just briefly, because I know it's been a long evening. I, I really appreciate your thoughtfulness and really trying to represent all the voices in our community during such a really tough time. And uh, I think you've all acknowledged um, how challenging this, even this plan is. Um, so we will work, do our best. I'll do my best to continue to keep people informed and up to date and um, those communication efforts, um, even at our school level, because often they're the best way to connect with our families is through their schools. And we are excited to get our staff back. We are excited to engage our students in learning again. Um, as I think Mr. Becker said so well, it's been a long time. And we are really excited to get to work. So with your, thank you for your support and we will continue to build this plan. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent McIntyre. Uh, do we have a motion to adjourn at 9.16 p.m.? So move, Director Simons. Do we have a second? Second, Director Douglas. A roll call vote will now be taken by the board secretary. Director Dawson Walton. Aye. Director Douglas. Aye. Director Mosqueda Jones. Aye. Director Simons. Aye. Director Ostafi? Aye. And the motion passes five to zero. And with that, we are adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening.